Hello, it's Ryan from TMR Prestige Services. Here we have a walk around video of our 2019 19 plate Hyundai Tucson 1.6 GDI SE Nav. Finished in phantom black with a black and grey cloth upholstery and silver 17 inch alloy wheels. Now, this car has covered 62,414 miles and comes complete with a full history with four services carried out. Most recently serviced at 58,000 miles in February 2024. The front and rear brake pads were replaced in June 2024 and it has an MOT until April 2025. So three owners from new, we bought it directly from the third owner and it comes with one remote key. Now being an SE Nav, it comes with a great specification. So you get the alloy wheels, you get uh, a rear park sensors, rear parking camera, a touchscreen interface, satellite navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Bluetooth hands-free, cruise control, auto lights, auto wipers. Um, so, you know, you, you get a lot of equipment in these Hyundai's. We, we mainly buy and sell here in Hyundai. Great value for money, extremely reliable, and, uh, you know, a, a great buy across the board from the little small one liters up to the big seven seaters. So in this model, we buy a lot of the Tucson's and the Sports Hardest. They are the same car. Hyundai and Kia are the same company uh, in the same group. But we do like the Hyundai Tucson. Being a 19 plate, a little bit more modern, drives really well. And obviously being a 1.6 means it's few less compliant. So you don't have to worry about any more uh, charges if you're gonna drive into London. Great school run car, family car, good on the motorway. They're just a good all rounder. Um, I actually had one, I had a 1.7 diesel uh, as a family car for about a year and a half. And uh, it was perfect, it was brilliant. Drove really well, nice, comfortable, nice to be slightly higher up as well. And I'd highly recommend one to, to anyone, to be fair. Now, I was planning, I have already done this video, but it, it started to absolutely tip it down. So I had to stop it and it's uh, calmed down a little bit. So I will try and do a panel by panel as best as I can. Now, obviously being black and being um, five years old with 62,000 miles, you know, it's got a couple of little stone chips here and there that I think you'd expect, but nothing too, uh, nothing too drastic. Um, but I will try and point out as best as I can even though the car is a bit wet now, um, of what's of what's on here. So there's a little, very faint little scratch there, which looks a lot worse on camera than actually in real life. Um, apart from that, on that wing, it's not too bad. Obviously, alloys being silver, they're all in quite good condition, and tyres as well. They're in the in a nice. Uh, a nice condition also. I do remember there was a couple of little stone chips on this door uh, down there. I mean, to be overly, overly picky, I'd like people to expect, you know, to know what they're expecting when they come to view the car. Um, and as much as I'd love to paint every single panel and make it brand new, unfortunately, we just, we just can't. Um, but it's normal wear for, for what you'd expect. Inside's in fantastic condition. Full set of mats throughout as well. Nice fix. Really easy Isofix points as well to get. Some cars are an absolute pain. I've got two kids myself and, you know, swapping cars and uh, that always pleases my other half when uh, I come home with something different and you've got to change the car seats out. But they're really easy to get to in, uh, in the Hyundai's and the Kia's. And there's a couple of little marks on the edge of the door. But again, I need to get the correct touching colour for this because it's a pearl. Um, get a couple of little marks down there. Um, so you can't just touch it with any normal black. Backs of the mirrors all good though. No cracks in the lights. Getting nice in the front though. Height adjustment on both the front seats. Elena says you've got this quite a nice carbon fibre effect on the dashboard. Multifunction steering wheel. 62,414, so there you've got your Bluetooth and uh, volume controls, trip computer, cruise control, touchscreen interface, or your dual zone climate control, two 12 volt sockets and an aux and a USB, six speed manual gearbox, cup holders and bits and pieces, also folding dormers so they'll unlock and fold, um, fold in and out on the unlock, unlock, four electric windows. And these tyres are all good, and wheel as well, all in nice order. Very small little 
part there. Now, obviously that is absolutely soaking wet, but there are definitely stone chips on the front of the car. Um, there's one there, one there. Who would have thought this would have been July in the UK? For obviously anyone that wants a dry video, I can obviously do send one over to them if they, if they want one. No problem doing that, but there's a little stone chip there. All the lights are good though. Fog lights are in nice condition. Same with the grill, no damage on there. It's little ones like that. You know, that's kind of what we're dealing with on the front of the car. Nothing personally in my mind I would worry about if it was my own car. But I like to be as honest as I possibly can. Again with this wing. Again, back of that mirror is all good. No cracks in there. I remember, yeah, from memory, there's a little mark there. And one on the door handle there. But again, door card all in nice condition. Same with the seats, there's no marks or uh, rips and bits and pieces locking well not in there. Get with this door, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's a little mark there. Again, all good. Normally those um, nets at the back are always, you know, in bad condition, but they're nice and tight to the car. Trying to see if I can see anything. I mean, if we're going to be overly, overly, overly picky, small little mark there. <laughs> Again, round to the rear lights, they're all in good condition, I know that for a fact. I do remember there's a little, a couple of little scratches there where it's had a bike rack on it. Um, but again, once I buy the correct touch and colour and touch that in, that will massively take your eye off of it. And there was a little mark there. Again, that just needs touching in. <laughs> Apart from that, all the rear reflectors are in good condition. And again, there's no, I know there's no bumper, big scuffs and bits and pieces on the bumper corners. You get a nice big boot with these cars, parcel shelf present as well. And then underneath here you get a, a space saver and you get a, a toolkit and all that stuff. So you get a digital speedo as well. So sat nav all touch screen. And then when you put it into reverse, parking camera comes up and it also comes up with the sensors on there. Let's do it again. Like that. So you get a guide either way. Radio. DAB radio. Setup. So when you go into phone projection, that comes up with the Android and uh, Apple CarPlay. So once you uh, put a USB into there, plug it into your phone, it will mirror onto onto there, which is nice. All your dual zone climate controls down there. Bits and pieces. Bluetooth. Pay your phone into it. But yeah, I, I, I really rate these Hyundai two sons. I think they're great, great value for money. You got sixty miles of fuel in it as well. as a recap 2019 Hyundai Tucson 1.6 petrol GDI SE nav finished in phantom black 62,414 miles full history with 
four services carried out and most recently serviced at 58,000 miles in Feb 24. It's had front and rear pads fitted in June 24 and has an MOT until April 2025. Three owners, sat nav, parking camera, parking sensors, ULES compliant and ready to go. Now this car will come complete with a pre-delivery inspection, full valet, three month warranty and clear motor check and HPR report. Finance packages are available and a park exchange is always welcome. You can visit www.tmrprestigeservices.co.uk or you can call me on 07 990 607 083 or 01 296 435 568. For any more details, we work on an appointment only basis. We're open seven days a week and we're located in Stoke Man Level HP 21 9DR. Thank you very much for watching.